here you are thinking about overclocking your CPU. We've all been there. Overclocking is one of the few ways in which you can get additional performance out of something for free. Well, mostly free. And while you can technically overclock anything with a clock speed, CPUs still remain one of the most commonly overclocked components. But there are downsides to this, of course. That's why you're here, to weigh the pros and the cons and to see whether overclocking your CPU really is worth it. This is exactly what we'll be doing in this video, so without any further ado, let's begin. First up, let's look at the benefits of overclocking your CPU. As we've said, overclocking is the only free way to get extra mileage out of your CPU. This means that you can put off replacing your outdated CPU with a newer one for some time just by breathing new life into it with overclocking. The clock speed isn't the only variable in the equation that determines a CPU's performance, but raising it will invariably boost the performance by quite a bit. There's a link in the description to an in-depth video where we explain all of the CPU specs, so definitely check it out if you're curious to know more about this. Now, following this logic, it would appear that overclocking is only good if you're stuck with dated hardware. And this is mostly true. Modern CPUs generally don't require any amount of overclocking to perform well, at least not in video games. You'd get a much more noticeable performance boost from overclocking your GPU anyway. But if you count on the added performance boost from overclocking while you're still in the phase where you're trying to figure out which hardware combination will yield the best results for your budget, then you might be able to get away with a cheaper CPU than you need by overclocking it as soon as you get it. This does have some negative implications, but more on that once we get to the cons part of this pros and cons list. For now, we just need to mention that you can end up saving quite a bit of money if your overclocked CPU lasts a long time. It's just that the longevity of overclocked CPUs is rather dubious. But we mustn't forget one last benefit of overclocking, and that's simply to say that you did it. Overclocking is a delicate process that can turn south real fast, and simply being able to proudly declare that you've done it right is an achievement in and of itself. So thus far, we've established that CPU overclocking is done either for boasting rights or extra performance. In the latter case, it is mostly done to squeeze the last few drops of juice out of a dated processor, but some also include the extra performance as a baseline while figuring out their potential PC build. In any case, we need to weigh these pros against the cons of overclocking, and there are quite a few of them. For starters, you can easily push the clock speed too far. Depending on how far you push it, you can send your PC into an endless boot cycle, damage parts of your PC, or anything in between. Much like chicken, a CPU can also get fried. Only this time, while the result may be crispy, it will not be delicious in any sort of way. Then there's also the fact that overclocking isn't easy. Some motherboards come with pieces of software that make it easier, but even then there's more to overclocking than bumping up the clock speed. You also need to consider the power you draw, consumption, and even fan speed among other things. To overclock a CPU properly, you need to strike a fine balance among all of these metrics. And much like with From Software games, there's no way to get good at it aside from trial and error. Keep in mind also that at the end of all of this hassle, you won't end up with a sizable performance boost as you probably imagined. At least not if your primary concern is gaming. We also have to challenge the very idea of overclocking being a free way to get extra performance out of your CPU. This notion is flawed from the start, since you'll have to get an aftermarket cooler if you intend on doing any serious overclocking. Raising the clock speed increases the power consumption, which in turn makes it so that the CPU generates more heat. You'll need a way to combat all of this extra heat and a stock cooler will rarely cut it. An aftermarket cooler is cheaper than a brand new CPU, so this isn't an issue if you're overclocking dated components, but with new ones, it really does raise the question of how much extra you have to pay in order to do this rather risky thing that's supposedly free and probably not worth the effort. And it doesn't help matters that overclocking instantly voids the CPU's warranty. 
So when we take all of the pros and all of the cons and bring them through a proverbial equation, what does the math tell us? Should you overclock your CPU? For the vast majority of modern PCs, the answer is a straightforward no. Once again, the amount of extra performance you'll get out of this entire ordeal simply isn't worth it for gaming. If you want to learn how to do it just for the boasting rights, then by all means go right ahead. If you're careful and take what you're doing seriously, you can gain a lot from overclocking. As long as you don't reduce the CPU's lifespan from where you need it to be, you've really got nothing to lose. But for casual users, it's simply not worth the hassle. We should also note that you're much less likely to find a buyer for a used CPU that's been overclocked than one that hasn't received this sort of punishment. So if you're planning to sell your current gen CPU as soon as the next generation gets released, you're definitely better off not messing around with the clock speed. And that about does it for this video. In conclusion, overclocking your CPU is generally not a good idea. The two best reasons for overclocking are if you're using dated components or if you just want to learn how to do it, preferably on a dated CPU that has a warranty that's already expired. It simply doesn't yield enough benefits for gaming to take all of the risks involved. In any case, we hope you found this video helpful. You can let us know if you have by liking the video, sharing it with your friends, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a comment. Feel free to leave comments depicting your own experience with overclocking so that the viewers who are still on the fence about the whole thing can get a different perspective. If you want to see more videos like this one, click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any. We upload new videos every week, so stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.